everyone, thank you for joining me once again for another tutorial with the BC500 Showbiz software. Now, Showbiz has a number of tools, so we can't put them all into one video. But here we're going to go ahead and show you how to put text on screen. So just like the previous video, we're going to drag our clip towards this drag and drop here. And we're going to click on this icon here. It's a capital T, lowercase a. This is text. So here you can add whatever it is you like onto the video. Now here we're just going to go ahead and pick a font at random and drag it here. It's going to take us to our timeline. Now it says enter text here. Wherever you click on the screen, that's where the text will appear. Okay. Now, once you've gone ahead and typed it out, and it's exactly where you want it, you can go ahead and uh, decide bold, italic, in whatever format, font you want it. You can also adjust the size of the text. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to move the text that I want here to the start of the clip. And Let's say you want to preview the text beforehand. Just go ahead and click anywhere in the Showbiz window. And already we see the diamondmm.com here that I just wrote. So we're going to go ahead and press play. And that's going to be in the clip until the... And there it is. You can always adjust how long you want it in the clip by grabbing the edge. And you can always stretch it out. So let's say if you want this text to go through the entire clip, you can do so by stretching it out. Now keep in mind that if you're clicking on any one of these boxes, like th let's say you click on the video box, you won't see the text because you're telling the program you only want to check the video. But if you want to check the whole thing, just click anywhere on outside of the boxes and just press play like I just did right now and that's going to play throughout the entire clip. Also keep in mind that you can do this as many times as you like with as many box as many text boxes. So, let's say I want to I want to add something else. Okay. Now here's a different font. I can adjust the size of the text. So, let's go ahead and this down. Here you can also change the color of the text as well. So let's say we want red and we want it in the middle of the screen. And we'll just do something basic, call this one test. But let's say we want more than just two words here. We can always add as many as many as we want as long as we still have space on this screen. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Click outside of the text box and press play. And there it is. Now, as always, once you're done going ahead and adding as much text as you want to the screen, you can always go ahead and click on Produce, and let's say you're not ready to burn it to a DVD, you just want to create a file. And just go ahead and click on Create a File. It's going to give you these options. Now, right here, Browse. This will go ahead and tell, tell the program where you want to save it to and what you want to name it. So, let's name this file Diamond Test. Okay, we're going to select Save. We're going to go ahead and tell it to start. And there it goes, and it's telling you right there where it was saved to. So in my case, I saved it to my video files. So I'm going to go there, and there it is. with any any media player you'd be able to go ahead and view this file. 
Now it's a regular computer file that you could go ahead and stick on your flash drive and take from one computer to another. It would be the exact same thing if you were to use the multi-trim to cut out portions of the video. You go ahead and click on produce, tell it to create the file, and it will go ahead and create the file for you. Now as always, if you have any questions or if, or if uh, you have any concerns, you can always go ahead and contact us at diamondmm.com. Uh, for questions, we recommend checking our diamond knowledge base first. And right here we have our VC500 knowledge base. If your question is not listed here, you can always go ahead and click on where it says open new ticket and contact us directly by creating a ticket in our system. And I or my support staff will be able to assist you further. Once again, this has been a video tutorial for the Diamond VC500 CXT using the ArcSoft Showbiz program.